Um, my normal day is Mondays and Wednesdays, but yesterday was a holiday. So I decided that I just wanted to kind of update y'all because it's a lot of stuff that I want to talk about. Um, and I know I'm looking so up today, but this is how good dick had you looking the next day when you didn't got good dick the night before. So I'm going to tell y'all all about it. And you know, I didn't had a breakout. I don't know why when we um, stay at hotels and stuff, um, if, I don't know what they wash they, uh, sheets and stuff with, but I always, my face always breaks out. So I just decided that I'm not going to put anything on it because I don't want to aggra aggravate it even more. So that's neither here nor there. So today, um, these are the things that I'm going to be talking about. Why is it that when you having good sex, you start calling on the Lord? Like, why is it that we realize that we have a friend in Jesus when we get in a dick? I, I need to, you know, I got to touch bases on that. The next thing that I want to talk about is the motherfucking kangaroo in the orgasmics. Oh, my goodness. I got to tell you all about that, too. Um, then last night, a question was sent to me with questions and answers from a married woman who was trying to fix her side nigga broke dick. Okay, got that. And then another question that came to me this morning um, about a friend wanting to know what she should do. And I just want to talk to the friends about minding their business. Um, so I wanted to give y'all a chance to get in because I know that this is not my normal day to go live. But this would have been too much to talk about on top of what I need to talk about on Wednesday. And that's normally what happens when I have to miss a live day and I got to get y'all caught up. Okay. So let, let me start off. Um, <laughs> I had an awesome night last night and, um, I want to tell you about my second experience with the kangaroo pill. Because my first experience, I was really drunk, so I remembered it was great, but I wasn't drunk last night, so I can really give you a detailed um, commentary or testimonial about how great my, my night was last night. So, let me start by saying, the kangaroo pill, let me, let me say this here, because everybody keep asking about pink pussy. If you order pink pussy, I know you've already been refunded for um, pink pussy. We ordered buku cases of pink pussy. The, the pills got to customs and customs tested the pills. Well, um, when you're selling something that's medical grade, you have it's like you have to be able to write a prescription for that. Of course, I'm not a doctor, so I can't write a prescription for it. Well, when we sell things, they're all natural, right? Well, Pink Pussy got to customs and they tested the pill. Come to find out, this pill was a medical grade pill. That's why these bitches was jumping, uh, they they tur was turning into super hoes taking the fucking pill. Because it was like really medical grade ingredients in the pill. So, I had to do my research and I had to find another pill that was compatible with Pink Pussy but was all natural. Kangaroo Ultra. Oh my God. This motherfucking pill. Let me just say this here. I have to really, I want to choose my words carefully. Not only will your pussy jump, will be jumping, but you will be jumping on the dick. See, I got an alter ego. And I like to call her Ryder. And when Ryder come out, it's a different type of beast that comes out, okay? This motherfucking pill brought the bitch Ryder out, okay? When Ryder comes out, baby, oh my goodness. All I can say is regular dick just won't do. Okay? You, 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 it, it just will not do. Okay? I was calling on the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And the disciples. And all of the angels in heaven and in earth. Okay? Let me tell you something. I was pouncing on the dick. You know, it's a difference in riding mm -hmm. in this bitch. Do you know what pouncing is? Pouncing means you bouncing hard on that dick like you can't get a fuck enough. Okay? So let me tell you what happened, right? So the fucking bed was already wet because I had been came so many fucking times. Okay? 
And he just laid back and just let me fucking do me. So finally, after I thought I hadn't came enough and it was time for him to get him, Ryan decides that it ain't over. Now I didn't already let the man come. So I say, fuck it. Give my give my give my bullet. Give my bullet. Now I got multiple fucking bullets, okay? In my nightstand, multiple bullets, okay? But bullets don't do you no good when you ain't got multiple sets of batteries. That's a whole nother fucking story. <laughs> okay? So I gets my motherfucking bullet. Turns the bitch on. I'm like, what the fuck wrong with my bullet? The motherfucking bullet stops working within fucking five seconds of me turning the bitch on. I'm like, this cannot be fucking life. I need batteries. I need batteries. My husband looking at me like, what in the fuck is wrong with you? But see, this Ryder now, Ryder done showed up and this bitch being Ralph form. She don't understand nothing but dick, okay? She don't understand nothing but trying to catch that nut. That's all Ryder understand. So... I'm like, are oh, you fucking serious? Cause see, I'm, I got the fucking bullet on my pussy, but I'm holding the dick in my hand at the same time. Cause for some reason, when I'm I'm fucking myself with this bullet, I like to beat the dick too. I like to play with the dick too. Okay. So I'm like, are oh, you fucking serious? The fucking bullet just stopped working. I'm all in the fucking draw. But like, when you in this state of mind, you ain't got time to look for no fucking batteries. You ain't got time to try to see what the fuck wrong with the bullet. So I told him, I got to get back on your dick. He was like, my dick numb. I can't feel nothing. I don't give a fuck. It's still up. It's, it's still up. I got it in my hand. The bitch still up. It's still hard enough for me to get up on it. So I get my ass up on this dick. They can't feel nothing, right? Because keep in mind, I got all of this shit going on that I done took all at the same fucking time. Okay? I done took this shit and I done put this shit here on my clip. All at the same fucking time. So right now my body is going fucking crazy and I don't even know what the fuck to do for it because I done let the man come. My fucking bill, my, my fucking bullet, I can't find no fucking batteries for it. <laughs> and all I got is a dick that's numb that's still hard but can't feel nothing. Oh my goodness. So I get back up on this dick for about 10 more minutes. <laughs> And he lets me have my fucking way. And he's like, oh my God. I don't know what to do for you. Oh my God. So he is doing everything in his power to try to help my body that cannot get enough of nothing at this point. Okay? Let me just say that I fucked until I was fucking exhausted. And you ever be on the dick and you just literally take your body and just fall off the dick like you up on the dick but you just fall off it like you don't take your leg and pick it up and get off the dick no but you just take your whole body and just collapse over that was me last night yeah so yeah that was that was my experience with this little combination right here <laughs> so then oh, he lay in the bed it's a big ass fucking puddle he was like, who about to sleep though? <laughs> like I mm. Apples, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, and angels, angels in heaven and in earth. I was calling everybody. So that was my experience. And it could be Hello. Hey, are you coming home? You still